Hey, I'm Bugsy. Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm here today with Bugsy, my co-host, and Fred. We are not in our usual filming space because we have our heavy work done, but we are getting it all back together soon. Now that the area is a mess and is going to be put together, it's a perfect time to do a buddy house makeover on my area. We are going to uh, straighten it up, clean it up, add things to it, make it better for the buddies and easier for me. And I will make a video about that when we're doing it. So stay tuned for that. So there's a separate video of how to give a nebulizer treatment, and this is the extended version. When I spoke with April and she demonstrated how to do it, she did more than just give him his nebulizer. She gave him his medicine and groomed him and talked about uh, many different things. So I would encourage you to just watch it all, and thank you so much. <laughs> I also want to thank Sasha and Ahmed and Beaky Buddy Way and Funny Buddy and all the people that leave me comments uh, every day and you just totally make my day and give me the motivation to keep going. So please keep them coming. So for uh, nebulizing a rabbit, if you happen to have a nebulizer at home, um, sometimes in certain families, maybe you had a family member who had asthma or something like that, which happened to be the case for me because uh, when my daughter was younger, she had asthma. So I happened to have um, a nebulizer. Um, then you're probably thinking, well, how can I use something like that for my rabbit? That's why I have a carrier here. This is to create the chamber um, for the mist to go into. So what I do with my carrier, um, I cover it. Want to make sure all the holes are covered to um, have the mist stay in there. So, you know, if the rabbit can breathe in the breathe in the moisture. Um, unfortunately, at this time, I don't know of any medications that they are nebulizing for rabbits. I would like to see more research being done with that because um, there are rabbits with respiratory issues and um, the only thing um, that anyone has told me I can do is normal saline. And I, I suppose with the other medications, maybe uh, maybe it has to do with the rabbit's heart that they can't tolerate it or not enough right. research has been done. Um, but the nebulizing, even with the normal saline, um, can help loosen up stuff in the lungs and help them to get some of it out. It's kind of like when you take a nice hot shower and you've been, um, you know, been having a respiratory infection. So for the rabbit, it does that. It helps them to be a little more comfortable. So um, this one I usually put on later after I have our rabbit guest here. All right. So as I said, we're going to make sure everything is ready. So I am going to fill the chamber. I'm going to close, I'm keeping it on a wide shot so I can close it in. So I am going to um, fill the chamber ahead of time. Like I said, um, you always want to plan ahead and have everything ready to go so that when you have your rabbit in your hands, you are not fumbling for equipment. <laughs> all right, so we fill up our nebulizer chamber connect it all up, ready to go. Like I say, you know, I need two hands for this. I don't want to have a rabbit yeah. in my hand when I need my hands. Okay, so I have that set and ready. All right, and I'll plug it in. I'll close up my cap here so I don't knock this over because sometimes when you have a rabbit in your hand, 
you just never know. Okay, so we'll have that plugged in and ready. I have his little door ready to have him go in. The other thing I'm going to be doing is giving him medication. All right, so um, what the uh, Rabbit Savvy Vet had prescribed um, was Zithromax. All right, so um, with Zithromax, I don't know if you have any experience with that. It comes in a powdered form, um, and you have to reconstitute it. Reconstituting meaning um, you add something to it and mix it prior to using it. Um, in this particular case, you would add five milliliters of water. You have to mix it up real good, shake it up good um, prior to using. You don't mix it until you start using it because you want it to last longer. But of course, hopefully, if you have a good rabbit savvy vet, they're going to tell you that information. Yeah. You know, and you, you have to have the proper syringe here. Like you see, this is a 5cc syringe to drop your water and put it in there. Now, I already have one that's reconstituted. Even though it is reconstituted, I'm still going to shake it up. I'm still going to stir it up. Or? What's that? Uh, does it get refrigerated? Or? Um, I have not. Um, I, I there that. was um, mm -hmm. one uh, shelter I was working with who insisted that it had to be. Um, doctor has never told me that it needed to be. Um, I've never, you know, other than the one shelter that I dealt with, um, it hasn't really been. So, uh, again, I shake it up, I stir it up, I want it as mixed up as uh, much as possible. In this rabbit's case, he gets a CC. Um, always make sure you have the right syringe. There is a difference between zero um a 0 0.1 of a cc versus a cc you don't want to end up overdosing or underdosing your rabbit so um i don't know if uh michelle and her dojo has showed you the differences in uh syringes yeah, syringes, yeah. yeah all right so always make sure you have the proper uh, amount because I know of people who sadly um, had horrible things happen because they had the wrong syringe and had the wrong amount so very important for anyone you know so if ever uh, if ever she does another thing on her dojo going over syringes and stuff that would be good for everybody yeah, all right some inserts, like hmm? size syringes yeah, yeah, you did go over, I think, with the different yeah. sizes. No, so, but I'm just saying, during the video, I could also add. Yeah, so, yeah, show them so the different ones, the zero point. Yeah. The, you know, because the point one, point two, point three, it goes all the way up to one cc. Right. You know, versus this one is a um, three cc syringe. So, uh, you know, get the right syringe for the right job. Yeah. So, all right, so I have that pulled up and ready to go. And I'm going to put that where I need it. Anything else you want to do with your rabbit, have it ready to go. I'm going to want to comb Sterling a little bit. So I have a comb ready. So I'm not like, oh my goodness, this would be a great time to comb him. And then I don't have a comb. So again, whatever you're doing, have it there, ready to go. And hopefully you won't have any mishaps. Okay, I am going to go and um, get our patient. Mr. Sterling. Okay, this is our friend Sterling. You can hear how he's very congested. You don't really, you don't want a rabbit to, you don't want a rabbit to sound like that. All right, first thing I'm going to do is give him his medicine. I'm sure, uh, I know Michelle on the Bunny Dojo has showed you. Um, Sterling is a very scared rabbit, so uh, he's not particularly happy about doing all this. So you see I kind of wrap him up and I lift up the front part of him and I put the syringe in his mouth. 
And there we go. Medicine done. Good boy. He's a good boy. So our next step is going to be to move him into uh, the nebulizer. Oh, you know what? I was going to comb him a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's why I had the thing out. I had combed him a little bit yesterday, so i kind of been taking the opportunity to... Uh... Yeah, he's really not too bad. I've been trying to do a little bit at a time. Dude, he looks really handsome. Isn't he a handsome boy? You know, he's very unusual, very unusual in his color and everything. Um, Sterling here was turned into the shelter as a stray. He was found hopping around. And that's another thing. Whenever you get a stray, you want to make sure that you put revolution on them because they can have um, mites, fleas, ticks. So uh, we did that for... Uh, Sterling here to make sure that he was bug free. So if ever you do get a rabbit like that, make sure you treat them. And it comes uh, in a couple different doses. It's for uh, the pink color is for five pounds and under, and then five pounds and above is a blue color. The revolution. Is it the kind that you get over, over the counter for the cats and dogs? Um, actually, if you want to get a box of it over there, um, it's sticking right in that box on the counter above the dryer. I can oh. hold it up to the camera and show them what it looks like. I have the pink box and the blue box. There you go. So uh, this is what we use on uh, strays. And or if your uh, rabbit ends up with... Uh, Mites. Sometimes that can happen even at home. I've had that happen. This is the pink for the five and under, and this is the blue for the uh, five and over. Yeah, this actually goes to five to 15 pounds. Okay. I don't know. I guess if you have a 20 pound rabbit or so, you can, <laughs> you're probably going to need another step up. But this is safe for rabbits. All right. Alrighty, so I will move Mr. Sterling over to his nebulizer. She's gonna move the Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> and here we go. Um, let me move over nice and close to make it less of a hop for Mr. Sterling. Here he goes into the carrier. He doesn't mind it too much. He's been doing this for a few days. Some rabbits might be a little more scared. He actually kind of likes it. He's been sitting right <laughs> over here, at, right by the nebulizer, which has been nice for him. He just sits there and he breathes it all in. I'm gonna cover it up some more once uh, we have him in there. But uh, he knows the routine and he's okay with it. You can kind of, you gotta kind of mess with it a little to kind of get it the best you can. And of course the whole chamber is going to fill up. So if you have a rabbit who's afraid and turns around and stuff, they're still going to get the benefit because they're, uh, you know, it's going to fill the chamber. All right, here we go. We're going to turn it on. And you see it gives a little mist coming out. And you see he, he don't mind it. He's like, yeah, this is good. <laughs> All right, and then um, what I do is I, yeah, you get a good, there you go. Okay, got him, all right. And then I'm gonna cover this all up. And give me the motivation to keep going. And I've been abandoned. 
why would I surprised?